my name is Timo. I want to show you today how to update the DVR dash cam system with new image. It takes about 10 minutes or a little bit longer and then you have the newest version in your device. First, we need the software. Download the software from www.appscan.com slash i question q is 4. So you will get the software which looks like that. A RAR file I use 7zip to extract it and then we have the content here. Now we will find the image and we will also find the documentation and we will find the application which is needed uh, Phoenix Suite in my case 1.07 if you install you will get this uh, window here the application is installed and in my case it's German and it means it's not connected so don't mind about it even please don't update the software don't no update okay if you update the software it will occur that the sequence the sequence I'm uh, explaining now will not work so I'm going to firmware and it's even not connected I will select my image the image um, uh, I've downloaded is here it takes uh, 344 megabytes I will open that and now I need to connect to the device now we have the device here we need to switch it off hold the power button and power it off turn it off okay now the device is powered off we will connect by USB and now before we connect to the computer we need to go to the firmware mode by holding the OK button so press and hold the OK button and don't release it to allow the update so we will connect to the computer Immediately the software will recognize that we want to update and I say yes, format all, we want to have it in manufactured situation, yes, yes we want. It will upload now the 300 megabyte to the device. It can take some minutes, a little bit more or less, it depends on the computer. Now we can release the OK button. Now the firmware image is uh, copied to the device. Okay, I can remove the plug and now I plug the device to the charger. Now I can switch on the device. seconds or minutes until you can switch it on so don't mind about it just wait
Okay, so we have a plane resetted situation and I need to start from scratch. And so that is the finished <laughs> that's the finished firmware update to the newest version. So that's it. Now we have our newest version in our DVR dashcam system and I hope you enjoy.